Hey, this is Patrick from STeach. Today, we're gonna to do a quick overview and unboxing of the Microtech CRS 3019 1G8S Plus IN. This is a eight 10 gig ethernet switch that's under $270 and as a bonus, it's silent because it sips power. Okay, so let's take a quick second to look at what the decoder ring is for that model number. So the platform is their CRS series. It's the 309, which is a nine port model. One of those ports is a one gig ethernet port. There are eight S plus, which is eight SFP plus 10 gig ports. And IN means that it is a desktop form factor switch. Okay, so let's start unboxing this beast of a switch. So we open it up and you get kind of basic packaging. You get some notes that say, hey, we've done some regulatory testing, maybe there's a little tiny foam layer. And then there you see it, there's the big switch. But first, we're gonna go look at the rack mount ears. Now you look at these rack mount ears and you say, hey, there's only a small one. So you go start digging and you find a power cord in there, but not the other one. We actually found the US power cord. You do have to look at what kind of power cord you're gonna get with a Microtik because sometimes they ship with international power cords because they ship all over the world. And then we saw this thing. And so we kind of opened this up and what we ended up finding was a giant rack ear. So the idea is that you have one side that uses a giant rack ear and the other side that uses the small rack ear. We can now whisk this box away real quick after we liberate the unit and show you kind of what this looks like. So here it is just kind of mocked up where you see the small rack ear on one side, you see a giant rack ear on the other, you can see that the power supply is gonna be a little bit difficult to put it in a normal PDU, but maybe you could do it. So here's the front of the unit. You can see there are eight SFP plus cages. Microtik's really easy about using optics. They have inexpensive optics and they use pretty much anything. Uh, there's also a one gig ethernet port, a serial port. You have some LEDs on the front. Bottom, you can see some vents. And in the back, you see this giant heat sink along with the power in port and a grounding port. And that giant heat sink is what hopefully keeps the unit cool in operation. It only uses about 23 watts maximum. So realistically, that is something you can passively cool if you have a big enough heat sink and it looks like Microtik decided to do that. So let's talk about performance real quick. So in terms of performance, this is a switch that you wanna use probably more as a level two switch than a level three switch. You can kind of see the performance specs from Microtik and they really show the fact that it, well, it, can and it has features that allow it to do a lot of the bridging and routing. It's probably not the right switch if you wanna do that at line speed with 10 gig ethernet. The big news though is that the max power is 23 watts. It doesn't have a fan, which means it's silent. And oh, by the way, it's only $270. So Rohit's gonna have a review on STH soon of this unit, but we just wanna do a quick unboxing video and let our readers see what we have in the lab. Thanks for watching. You can check out more from our awesome STH team on the STH main site. We have other videos on YouTube and you can always subscribe to our channel and see whatever is coming out next.